Hey guys, welcome to the Cinema 4D quick tip tutorial. I was recently asked how to make a custom palette that's vertical and turned sideways. You can see here over on the right hand side of the screen by default, Cinema 4D has these uh, vertical side facing little tabs here and you can click between them. So how do you make one of those? Okay, well first of all we need to go to Window, Customization, Customize Commands. And this is, gives you a long list of all the different commands. And we want to click on Edit Palette. We want to create a new palette. It's going to bring up a window. And we want to just take all of the commands that you want and just drop them in there. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of these different random commands. And I'm just going to put them in here. All right, I think that'll be plenty for now. So over on the left hand side of this uh, new palette here that we're making, you'll notice that there's these two vertical lines of little dots. So if you right click on it, we can change this to a tab and it says, uh, it gives you this little mouse over here. So just click on tabs and then convert to tab. Now we have a tab or actually a palette with a tab on top. So if we click and drag on this, nothing is really happening. And the reason for that is because we need to click on these little dots again and then click and drag. Now it's highlighting the user interface where you want it to be dropped at. But we want it over here on the right hand side. Now we don't want it there and we don't want it way over there. What you want to do is while holding the mouse down, you want to bring the uh, mouse cursor over one of the previous tabs that's already there and then let it go and now it will instantly place that palette there for you. So now you can still go and switch between the three that were there plus the new one that you just added with all of your custom command icons that you put in there. Alright now what if you want to do this same thing but you want to put it over here on the left hand side. Alright well let's make a new palette and I'm just gonna drop some of these in here And we'll grab a couple of them. Let's go down, here we go. All right, I think that'll be enough. So what we wanna do again is we want to convert this to a tab. I wanna click on those little dots and drag this over to right there. You can see it is highlighted on the left-hand side of the viewport. Click and drag it there. Now we want to take and right click again on those uh, little dots, convert to a tab, but notice that the tab is kind of like off to the side, you really can't read what it is. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to go back to tabs and choose left. Now you've got your uh, palette that's there and now you can see it. Or if you wanted to, you could change it to be on the right and now it's on the right. But of course this is on the left hand side of the viewport so it makes sense if this were oriented to the left. And then if you wanted to add another one to that, create another palette, drag your commands in here that you want, right click on it, uh, convert it to a tab, drop that on top of that one, and now there's your second one. But you may need to change the orientation on that one. There you go. So now you have your two palettes there. All right, so that concludes this quick tip tutorial on how to create these vertical left and right facing palette tabs. All right, guys, hopefully I'll have some more tutorials coming soon, some more on modeling and probably some on Espresso. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.